Hello, I'm Russ with Core Turf Consulting. Our second technical seminar is a review on biostimulants and how we can help maintain healthy turf under stressful growing conditions. There are three natural plant biostimulant families, auxins, cytokinins, and GAs. The three hormone groups always function with each other. They are naturally produced together and they always work with each other. You cannot separate them. GAs are produced in the new growth of the apical portion of the plant. GA moves downward and eventually to the roots. It has a role in cell division in that it elongates cells in the plant. Auxins are produced primarily in the lower portion of the apical plant parts and in the upper root zone. Auxins always move toward the highest concentrations of GA. Auxin distributes throughout the entire plant under ideal growing conditions. One of the primary functions of auxin is to induce new root growth. Cytokinins are produced in new root growth and move upward in the plant where it is vitally important in many functions. It is a key in cell division and prevents the onset of senescence which is the process of plant decline. Under natural growing conditions, the three hormones move consistently throughout the plant. Mowing the turf every day is just one of the factors that disrupts that natural synergy of the three hormones within the plant. Mowing creates a reduction in new leaf growth and surface area. Decline in new leaf growth reduces GA production, which in turn causes more auxin moving to the root zone. The success of auxin in the roots reaches the critical stage and root initiation quickly declines. The natural synergy of the three hormones is dramatically disrupted. As roots decline, cytokinin production also declines, leaving less and less to migrate upwards. Senescing factors increase in the plant with a reduction in cytokinin. At this stage the plant is in trouble. This is the stage that we can help. What sets us apart from the other competitors? We use different sources than any other manufacturer in the market. We use at least three sources for each hormone group. Our extraction sources come from various areas of the world and are very unique to the turf grass industry. Our concentrations and our ratios are designed for cool season turf. We keep all our cool season turf products within that same ratio. We use highly bioactive low molecular weight organic acids. The lower the molecular weight, the greater the bioactivity. Our Synergize C3 has a molecular weight of less than 250. So you can see the comparisons with some of the other acids and the different molecular weights. We use fermented plant extracts from various locations around the world. We make the photosynthetic process more efficient by synergizing carbon. Life on this planet is carbon-based, particularly plants. Yeah, my name is Corey Mossing. Um, I've been in the golf course turf industry now for 11 years. Um, been the superintendent at Cray Wolf Golf Course for the last two years. Um, feel very fortunate to be a part of a golf course like this. Um, it's an unbelievable design and just a spectacular property in general. So one thing I, I definitely see as an added benefit um, when it comes to using the Pro T products is is uh, the extra support that, that our golf course has seen from Core Turf Consulting. Um, there's there's a, a really strong brain trust of, of knowledge um, kind of behind the scenes and uh, um, you know the, the developers of the product and, and uh, the distributors of the product are always you know, show first class service. Um, it's, uh, 
especially when it comes to the science of things, you know, um, soil chemistry, stuff like that, that, um, you know, sometimes is, gets lost in the shuffle a little bit, but, but uh, um, just the overall support and knowledge behind Pro-T has been extremely beneficial. Um, I've learned a lot in the last two years um, with Corker, Core Turf Consulting. So when, when, I, when I look at the benefits of, of, of the Pro-T products, um, definitely what comes to mind is root development and overall plant health. Um, we've, made a, a, we've made the health of the plant a huge focus in the last two years um, and, and we've tried to get the roots as healthy as we can. Um, we actually have one of the shortest growing seasons in Canada. I've heard it's in the top five for, for shortest, you know, open to close. So um, when you have that short growing season up in the mountains, um, you basically have to put health first when it comes to having greens. Mm -hmm. um, we also have extremely harsh winters um, up in Panorama, sometimes with, you know, the threat of certain ice damage in, in, in the winter and heavy, heavy periods of snow cover. Um, this spring we were extremely impressed with, with the, the health of the greens coming, you know, once the snow lifted and we were able to pull the tarps off. Um, so as far as just general um, health benefits when it comes to protein products, um, hands down, you know, root development, um, just overall strength, the ability to handle stress um, has been second to none.